Hey everybody, I'm Ben. And I'm Carter. We're here to do a review on the EP Integrations Annealing Machine. I've been reloading a while and I have never been into annealing, but I started shooting 338 Lapua. Everybody on the forums is talking about annealing, so I decided to go that route. So I looked at a lot of different machines. Lots of machines take different wheels, different adapters, all kinds of things to go from one cartridge to the next. I decide if it's good for Lapua, I want it for everything, except for pistol. So this one will go from 50 BMG all the way down to 6.5 Grindle, and probably smaller, without any accessories, just the way it's made. And it's a pretty cool machine. So let us show you how this thing works, and we'll give you a little tour of this and show you why we like it. So the machine itself is very easy to use. Say you have something larger, you just adjust the wheel in until you get it exactly where you want it. And you will adjust this rod back to brace this while it turns and then snug up your wing nut. And then this piece would just move to hold your brass. In this video, we're going to go from 223 and we're going to run some 6.5 Grendel. So what you want to do is have some test brass that you don't care about to kind of decide what kind of time you want for it to be in the flame. This machine will turn, you can adjust it faster, you can adjust it slower. What I've done is gone through and timed out the brass that I want to run so I know that with 223 it works best at 30 seconds. And what I do is run it to this little window here. I make sure this is where I want it. Then I move this out to where it lines up and snug it down. That's all there is to it. You want to do a test run and what you want is for this to turn glow red for just a second and fall out. So you have to time that with your lights off, but I've got it all timed out already to save us some time in this video. And we will run all of these. This tray is pretty nice. This is also made by EP Integrations for reloading. And you can open this up and go all the way from, you know, Lapua down to 223, snug it up. It's very handy when you're reloading. Like I say, this is all the test brass I use to kind of time this out. So I'm going to save this as test brass. This is brand new, well, not brand new, but freshly cleaned, ready to go for annealing. And so we're going to light this up. And it comes with the stand, the torch head, the machine, and the catch tray. So what you want to do is get your torch on, adjust the flame where it's going to be just off the brass. When you order this, it also comes with these directions and scannable codes to watch a video to show you how to set all this up as well. So on this, all we got to do now is you have your brass in, and this is just a test piece. Once you turn it on, falls down, starts heating up, and gets glow red right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let Carter come over show you how easy it is to run these 15 pieces of 223 then we'll make a quick adjustment for the 6.5 Grendel. Carter, you want to show them how to do this? Mm -hmm. Wrong brass, buddy. This side. There you go. As simple as this. Go ahead and put the other one in right away. There you go.
So we did the 15 two, two, three. There's no feed tray for this. You just load them up one at a time. You load one while the other one's going. Really, it doesn't take very long. For just doing rifle rounds, I think it's fine. Um, would be nice to have a feed tray, but it doesn't take much longer to do it this way. So I know for my 6.5 Grendel, I need to slow this down a little bit, down to 24. And what I'm going to do is just like I did for the 223, stop it right here. And that lines up pretty good because this case is the same length as uh, a 223 cartridge. So it all works. What I do need to do is adjust this out some for the shorter cart. You know, it's a little bit shorter. And then get my flame right where I want it. That's why you need some test brass. And Curry, you want to run the rest of that for us? We'll run this Grindle. Might not have that adjusted just right for the Grindle, it looks like. I'm going to have to back that back down in there, which is the nice thing about this machine, is you can adjust this really easy. Let's just go ahead and run a test through there. Oh yeah, that should do it. Here you go, Curry. You want to finish that out? Looks like I just had it backed out a little bit too far. This was our first real run with it besides testing it on the globe method to see how long it should be in there. But let's show you the results. So if you look really closely, I'm not sure how it's going to show up on camera, but you can see the annealing remarks. They are super even all the way across. It's a little lower on the Grindle, but it's easier to see in the light on the 223. It's just really nice looks really good I'm not sure if I want to continue with the glow method because it's very hard to tell for me anyway but they do make uh, some paste you can put on it to tell you exactly when to take it off but yeah we like it it runs good and it looks like a nice even anneal so we're gonna give this a go for a while and then we'll see how it turns out if you'd like to order one you just go to EP integrations website it's epintegrations.com you get the machine, you get the pan, the torch holder, and the only drawback I found so far is the power cord is really short. But other than that, I like it, and I will be doing a review on this reloading block sometime in the future. This thing is super sweet, so we're going to use it a little bit, see how it goes, and then put a review together on that. But if you do have any questions, just let us know. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and keep on all notifications. Have a great day. This is Ben and Carter.